Once upon a time, there was a spider named Anansi. Now, let me tell you, I'm not just any spider. I'm a trickster, a master of stories, and I'm always on the lookout for a chance to gain some advantage over my friends and enemies alike. One day, I heard about a magical pot that held all the wisdom in the world. Can you imagine that? All the wisdom in one little pot. I knew I had to get my hands on it and I was determined to do whatever it took to make that happen. So, I went to the owner of the pot, a wise old man, and asked him if I could borrow it. Of course, he refused. He told me that the pot was far too valuable to lend out to just anyone. But I didn't give up that easily. I went back to the old man day after day, bringing him gifts and telling him stories to try and win his favor. Finally, he relented and agreed to let me borrow the pot but only for a single day. I was over the moon with excitement. I took the pot and ran all the way back to my home in the forest. But as I was running, I couldn't help but think that I could do so much more with the pot if I had it for longer than just one day. And then, a sneaky idea came to me. I decided to take the pot and hide it in a tree, telling everyone that it was lost. Then, I went back to the old man and told him that I had lost the pot and begged him to let me borrow it again. And he did. I repeated this trick for several days, each time pretending to lose the pot and borrowing it again. And each time, I gained more and more wisdom from it. I learned the secrets of the forest, the ways of the animals, and the stories of my ancestors. But then, something unexpected happened. One day, while I was out looking for the pot, I overheard some animals talking about me. They were saying that I was a liar and a cheat, and that I couldn't be trusted. I was shocked and hurt by their words. I had always thought of myself as a clever trickster, but I didn't realize that my actions had consequences. I had been so focused on getting the pot and gaining its wisdom that I hadn't thought about how my actions might affect others. That's when I realized that the true wisdom was not just in the pot but in how I used it. I decided to return the pot to the old man and apologize for my dishonesty. I also made a promise to myself to use my wit and cunning for good rather than just for my own gain. In the end, I may not have kept the pot, but I gained something far more valuable, the wisdom to know right from wrong, and the courage to do what's right even when it's difficult. So that's the story of Anansi and the wisdom pot. It's a cautionary tale reminding us that the true value of wisdom lies not just in its acquisition, but in how we use it. And I hope that you've learned something from my story, too.